Welcome, you are watching the A Bronx Kicks channel. All right, get ready for a wild ride because today we're taking a deep dive into the world of open source AI. It's fascinating stuff, really. And, uh, you know, it's changing the game in ways we're just starting to understand. We're talking about putting the power of artificial intelligence into the hands of well, everyone. And that's what's so revolutionary, right? It's not just for the tech giants anymore. Open source means the code, the DNA of these powerful tools is freely available. Anyone can use it, modify it, share it. It's incredible. Think of it like a global recipe book for innovation. Constantly being updated and improved by a community of brilliant minds. It's collaborative, it's dynamic, and it's changing everything. And that's what we're going to explore today, how open source AI is transforming cybersecurity. And so much more. One of the things that really blew my mind while researching this was the sheer speed of innovation. It's like this open source approach is a catalyst accelerating the development at an incredible pace. It really is. And you know, a big part of that is the transparency. When we talk about open source, we're talking about being able to look under the hood. Examining the code, understanding how these AI models actually work. It builds trust. Which is critical. Yeah, absolutely. Especially in cybersecurity where trust is paramount. Because in the digital world, the bad guys, they aren't exactly playing by the rules, are they? No, they are not. And that's why open source AI is becoming so essential. Okay, so walk me through this. How exactly are these tools being used to make our digital lives safer? Well, for one, they're helping us build more agile security systems. Agile, meaning? Meaning they can predict and counter threats sometimes even before they fully materialize. So it's like having a super smart AI watchdog guarding our digital front door 24 7. It's a good way to put it. But how does it actually work? Can you give me a real world example? Sure. Imagine a hacker trying to slip past security measures. They're trying to blend in, mimic normal network traffic, hoping to go unnoticed. Sneaky. Exactly. In the past, this kind of tactic might have worked. But now picture this, an open source AI model trained on massive data sets of network data. Okay. This AI can spot even the tiniest anomaly in the traffic flow, something that seems off. It raises a flag, suspicious activity before any real damage can be done. Wow. So it's like having an AI detective that never sleeps, constantly no. analyzing patterns and connecting the dots. Precisely. And here's the kicker. These systems are always learning, always adapting. And that's the beauty of the open source community, right? Right. Every time a new thread is identified, the code gets updated, shared, makes the entire system stronger. So it's like a global neighborhood watch, but for cyber threats. Exactly. Constantly evolving, always one step ahead. Incredible. But it's not just about reacting to attacks, is it? You're right. It's bigger than that. We're seeing open source AI being used proactively. Okay. I'm intrigued. Tell me more. Identifying vulnerabilities in systems before they're even targeted. So shoring up defenses before the bad guys even know where to attack. Exactly. It's a proactive approach to cybersecurity. Okay. So we've established Open source AI is a game changer for cybersecurity. Game changer, yeah. But its impact, I mean, it goes way beyond that, right? Oh, absolutely. We're talking about a technology that has the potential to revolutionize almost every aspect of our lives. You're not exaggerating. It's exciting. It really is. It is. We're just scratching the surface here. It's application span across industries. Healthcare, finance, even art. That's what I love about this topic. It's like we've unlocked this secret door to a world of possibilities. And the best part is it's open for everyone to explore. Okay, so we've seen how open source AI is really shaking up the cybersecurity world. But it can do so much more. Or so plus more. You mentioned healthcare earlier. What kind of impact are we seeing in that field? Well, let's say you go to the doctor, routine checkup. And instead of just the usual examination, they use an AI powered diagnostic tool. Okay. This tool has been trained on millions, maybe billions of medical images. Wow. It can analyze scans with incredible precision. Detect diseases, even in their earliest stages, things that might be missed otherwise. That's incredible, especially with something like cancer. Early detection is key. Exactly. And it goes beyond just diagnosis, too. Really? Oh, yeah. We're talking personalized medicine. Treatments tailored to your unique genetic makeup. So open source AI is helping us move towards Healthcare that's more precise, more effective. We're proactive too. It's like having a team of digital doctors working behind the scenes to keep us healthy. That's a great way to put it. And the best part is these advancements, they're not limited to just healthcare. Oh, right. You mentioned other fields. Finance, for example. Okay. 
Open source AI is helping analysts identify market trends, manage risk. And what about self-driving cars? I feel like AI is huge in that field. Absolutely. Autonomous vehicles rely heavily on open source AI. Improving navigation, enhancing safety, it's all connected. So we've got AI predicting the stock market, making our roads safer. It's like something out of a sci-fi movie, but it's happening right now. And it's just the beginning. That's what blows my mind. It feels like we've unlocked this incredible potential. And the best part is, it's accessible to everyone, right? That's the beauty of open source. Anyone with a good idea, access to these tools, they can contribute. It's like we've all been given these superpowers, and it's up to us to figure out how to use them. I like that analogy. Speaking of superpowers, what are some of the top open source AI tools out there? Well, we've talked about TensorFlow and Keras. Great for building and training machine learning models. Right, and what about computer vision? Ah, uh, for that, you'd want to look into OpenCV. OpenCV, got Essential for things like self-driving cars, facial recognition. And I've heard a lot about PyTorch lately. Is that a good one? PyTorch is fantastic, very popular. Developed by Facebook, known for its flexibility, ease of use. So many options. It could feel a bit overwhelming for someone just starting out. I can understand that. What advice would you give to someone who's interested in diving into the world of open source AI? That's a great question. I'd say start with a project that truly excites you. Okay. Something you're passionate about, even if it seems small. So passion over practicality. In a way, yes. When you're genuinely curious, when you're excited about building something new, the learning process becomes so much more rewarding. That makes sense. But what about resources? Oh, there's a ton of support out there. Online tutorials, forums, communities. You're never really alone on this journey. It's that collaborative spirit again. Exactly. And it makes all the difference. You mentioned choosing a project based on your interests. Can you give an example? Sure. Let's say someone loves music. They could explore using AI to generate original compositions. Really? Absolutely. There are tools that can analyze existing music. Learn the patterns, the styles, and then use that knowledge to create something entirely new. So you could essentially collaborate with an AI to write a symphony. In a sense, yes. It's wild. Or maybe they're more interested in music recommendation systems. They could build an algorithm that analyzes listening history and then suggests new artists, new songs that align with their taste. Well, it all comes back to applying these powerful tools to areas that spark our curiosity. That's what it's all about. It's about using AI to fuel our passions, mm. to solve problems that matter to us. And to create things we never thought possible. It's not just about cold, impersonal algorithms. It's about human ingenuity amplified. I love that. Human ingenuity amplified. And the more people who dive in, the more diverse and innovative these applications will become. Absolutely. We'll see solutions to challenges we haven't even considered yet. All because open source AI empowers individuals to turn their ideas into reality. It feels like we're on the cusp of a paradigm shift, wouldn't you say? It really does, doesn't it? Like we're on the verge of something massive. We are. It's like we've been talking about the potential of AI for so long, and now at open source, it's like, boom. It's here. It's becoming a reality. And it's it's not just a technological shift, you know? It's societal. It's changing the way we think about innovation, about problem solving. It's leveling the playing field, right? Exactly. Like it used to be that only these huge corporations, these big research institutions had access to this kind of power. Open source AI, it changes everything. Democratizing access, that's the key. It's like what the internet did for information sharing, but now it's happening with AI. A hundred percent. And that's incredibly exciting. It really is. Because it means anyone, anyone with a good idea, with a drive to learn. They can contribute. They can be a part of this. You don't need a PhD in computer science anymore. Right. You don't need to work in some fancy lab. If you've got a laptop, a decent internet connection, and that spark of curiosity. That's all it takes. You can dive right in. The tools are there. The resources are there. And the community. That's a big part of it too, right? Huge. The open source community is incredible. So supportive, so collaborative. Always willing to help, to share knowledge. So for our listeners out there who are just tuning in, maybe they're just starting to wrap their heads around all of this. What's the one key takeaway you want them to remember about open source AI? Open source AI. It's not just about the technology itself. It's about empowering people. Love that. Giving everyone a seat at the table, a chance to shape the future of artificial intelligence. To make sure it benefits all of us, not just a select few. Exactly. I think that's a perfect note to end on. Open source AI, it's a force for good. And it's up to all of us to make sure it stays that way. 
So there you have it, folks, our deep dive into the world of open source AI. We've seen how it's transforming cybersecurity, revolutionizing healthcare, even changing the way we create art. But most importantly, we've seen how it's empowering individuals, breaking down barriers, and creating opportunities that never existed before. It's a brave new world out there, one where the power of AI is within everyone's reach. So if this conversation sparked your curiosity, don't let that feeling fade. Dive in, explore, experiment. The future of AI is being written right now, and you can be a part of it. From both of us, thanks for joining us on this incredible journey. And until next time, stay curious.